Saludos amigos, Cash, your president and CEO of Cash International Luxury Real Estate. Hey guys, how you doing out there? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm standing here in beautiful, the beautiful Dominican Republic, okay guys? A place that I call home most of the year and uh, I absolutely have zero regret in, in all the time and effort that I've put into bringing the Dominican Republic to you guys, okay? So this is a, gonna be a really short video and uh, there, there's a reason for it. What I wanna do is I, I did have a, a subscriber and thank you, by the way, I believe the name's Thomas. Uh, thanks for leaving that comment because uh, we were talking a little bit about, uh, I had my colleague Sam down here in Punta Cana and he was talking about how beautiful the construction is, how amazing it is. And I believe uh, there was a, uh, a few comments made in, the regard of no nah, the construction is not so good and etc cetera, etc cetera, and how it's not mind-blowing so where am i standing right I'm now none other than uh amazing cap canna and in cap canna you can see how they're doing this is an uh, oceanfront lot uh we're sitting in punta espada okay inside cap canna very exclusive ex exclusive neighborhood we do have a few lots in here available uh but they're running to the tune of 700 to 900 thousand. okay granted yes this is an exclusive area however we're going to show you a few other examples of uh areas of villas that are in the three four five hundred thousand dollar range okay but what you're going to see here today in this video is when he, sam was saying that he was blown away by the construction and what it looks like. Guys, have a look behind me. Slide over. So guys, look at how phenomenal this construction is. This is the kind of stuff that is being built here in the Dominican Republic. What we're talking about here is not whether you can afford it or not. What we're talking about is the quality of construction. This is absolutely mesmerizing. It is mind blowing. It is gorgeous. Look at the size of those doors. So uh, I've got Sam along with me. He's taking along. I want him to uh, to speak to this. This is Sam. As you were saying in in the initial video we did, that you're blown away by the construction. And uh, I had a subscriber that was a little bit confused by that. Uh, when I'm talking about construction for North American and the quality of construction, guys, this says it all. Look behind me. What do you think? Yeah, the construction here. The one thing that blows my mind away. Is look at the marble. Look, look at the marble pillars, big windows facing front, massive door right at the front. Just that door, like that door, guys, is probably eight by 16. I think that's probably an eight by 16 door. Massive. What we're going to show you in, the, in another segment here, and we're going to pop over there right now so you can see. You can see how they're laying the cliche, they're laying the foundation. That becomes like a concrete pad, a uh, natural concrete pad. They're and that becomes a concrete pad. Then they come in and do their foundations and do all that other stuff once they build that strong base. So what we're gonna do uh, in the next video is we're gonna pop by, yes, we're standing here in front of a, a multi-million dollar villa. Of course it's built well, but no, we're gonna show them the, uh, the 300,000, 400,000 yeah. uh, villas that are not so far along. And you can see then exactly, you were just witness to that, Sam, uh, the concrete foundation, the concrete footings, uh, the con concrete headers, all of that stuff exactly how well that construction is. Yeah, I think, I think it takes into effect of the pride that they put into what they're building is incredible. Like, the pride of craftsmanship is above and beyond. I think, Cash, in, in uh, your building, we were watching the guys take the little indents out of things just yes. to make it look perfect in the end. Exactly. There's just so much pride people have here. There, yeah, there is, there's a pride. There's a pride to doing the construction. Of course, not everybody's built equally, but what I'm saying, in general, the construction is great. So. Uh, I don't want you guys to get confused when uh, you read or see stuff. Uh, the key is to get a good broker that gets you in the good projects uh, in the right right spaces. If you kind of venture off uh, no man's land, uh, you could put yourself in a situation because not everybody's built equally. But uh, on the next clip, what I want to show them is uh, let's take them, show them the headings, the footers, all concrete, Agreed. solid construction, not this two by four crap that we're uh, we're doing in North America where the wind blows the wrong way and the, the place falls down. I feel so bad for people in Florida that get exposed to that. Uh, there's, uh, of course, we, we've been having a really bad weather in North America and around the world, but uh, when the wind hits hard, places are collapsing, not here. All right, guys, uh, stick around for this next segment. We're gonna show you, uh, show you a little more. All right, guys, uh, we were just driving by, so I wanna show you something really quick. You saw that villa that we were just showing you. It's right down the road over here. Here's one in construction, okay? My good friends over at Novell, they're doing this. So you can see exactly, I was here about a year, a year or so ago and there was nothing here. You can see where they're at at this point, okay? You can see it's a solid concrete structure, combination of poured concrete, uh, rebar throughout, a ton of rebar and uh, concrete blocks. So these places are built to last. They're built to last uh, earthquakes, hurricanes. When our reference was that things are built amazing, guys, we truly mean it. 
Uh, we're not just saying that they are for the sake of selling. We, and this is why this video is important. We want you to see exactly how this stuff was built. And uh, the stuff is built fast and it's built very, very strong. All right, guys, let's keep going. All right, guys, so as promised, what I want you guys to see, I want you to see, uh, this is in reference to a uh, subscriber's comments or questions, let's say questions regarding, uh, is are things built better here? And I, I truly, 100% believe they are built better here. Let me give you a quick example. Here's a structure, okay? This is a structure of, uh, they're at the point of all the columns are in, all the headers are in. Guys, you can see it's solid concrete, okay? The, the, the headers, the footers, all of that is poured concrete, okay? Uh, but you can see how solidly they're built. So when people try to make you believe that things aren't built well, to, well here, then they're off base. They're not in tune with the right kind of construction. Of course, I can go into, uh, into the rural settings of, uh, of the Dominican Republic and things are built with, uh, with sticks and straws. That's not what we're doing here. That's what North, not what North American investors are looking at. So that's what I'm talking about, solidly built structures. Now turn around and look at this. Step one, this is where it's at with step two. Okay, look at how they're getting finished. You can see that it's basically the same structure. You can see all the details that are coming into play now. Once they make the, the structure solid, and secure, hurricane proof, earthquake proof. They take care of all those elements. You're moving now to the next phase. And here guys, uh, I'm not gonna go too close because it's a finished uh, finished property and it is a uh, family living there. But you can see up on the side here, you can see exactly a unit that is fully finished, okay? I'll slide over here with you. You can have a look. See, there's a little puppy over there. He's barking. Uh, family lives there. It's a beautiful house. You can see exactly how everybody finishes a little bit different. These guys are finishing different. They, they blocked it off a square. But uh, that gives you a rough idea, guys. So this video really was just with the intent to show you guys that construction has done very, very well here. Uh, right now, specifically, I'm in Cap Canada. As I told you guys, I showed you the multi-million dollars. I showed you the few hundred thousand dollars. Guys, there's opportunity here in whatever price range you're in, and the stuff is built phenomenal. Don't listen to what anybody says out there because stuff is built well, especially stuff that we're gonna take you to see. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Remember, love where you live. 2024 is all about Dominican Republic, and it's all about you being able to say one day send me a whatsapp and say finally we love where you live thanks cash all right guys that's it for this one talk to you soon all right guys i lied sorry i wanted to uh I'm, as i'm leaving the development i need you to see something else okay just to just to my point that's exactly how the structure looks with the headers the solid concrete headers and footers guys this is a step before that even okay you can see the rebar that's being used when they pour the concrete uh this is beside us they're a little bit further along Gives you a pretty good idea, a good feel of what's happening. You see people at work over there. You could see that's a step before what I just showed you in the previous video, okay? So yeah, I just want to share that with you. If you guys have uh, questions or you get thrown off, off base, you know, I know uh, uh, people have good intentions to try to explain and critique the Dominican Republic and construction and uh, all those other elements, but they just don't know. Not that's where our company and brokerage is so critical in the entire team because we're able to guide you accurately and properly. Uh, we're not giving you information that's inaccurate. So when you're hearing, and there, there's a good example, the, the finished villa that we were looking at, you can see how they did the walls over there. Okay, there is another project happening over there and off in the distance we have Live. That's another project of ours that we have, uh, we're bringing to you. So it's really, really important that you guys uh, pick and choose your information source. You can see we're right here on the ground. Uh, Sam's going to be here in Punta Cana, Bryce and Las Terrenas. I'm all over the place and we're going to guide you properly. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. What we did here is we reached out to the developer and we got some information related to these amazing villas that are for sale here. So we're going to run you through a few renderings and a little bit of information. So you're located inside Las Iguanas private area this area is within cap Cana, and it is also a private gated area within cap Cana. so for even more security you can see how close you're located to the jack nicholas golf course in the ocean okay these are going to be spectacular located lots right here inside cap Cana. you're going to be right there right on the brand new jack nicholas golf course that is coming to be finished in 2025. You'll, you will have access to the Las Iguanas golf courses as well as the Punta Espada since you are located right inside Cap Cana. Access 
to Juanillo Beach and the bar and grill over there is an amenity that is right down the road from you. You're going to really be able to enjoy an amazing quality of life having access to all of these amazing spots. You're not just going to have access to Juanillo Beach, but you're also going to have access to Capcana Blue Lake where you will find other restaurants, bars, and lake sport opportunities. Uh, you will also be at an advantage where you're going to be able to get discounts to certain amenities within Capcana, okay? Uh, for example, you're going to be able to get, because you live inside Capcana, you're going to be able to get a discount for your children to go to Heritage School, which is one of the top schools in the country. You're going to have access to the equestrian center. You're going to have uh, the ability to buy a mooring dock at the Marina Capcana or rent a yacht slip for your enjoyment okay so there is really a lot of opportunity for you that awaits here in this beautiful part of the Dominican Republic called Capcana if looking for a villa has been something that you have really been looking for this is your opportunity these villas are going to range from 741 square meters to 781 square meters very large unit very large villas and they are priced very well for the size location and quality of construction that you're going to be receiving here so centrally located as you can see from this diagram here you are minutes away from everything that you need to enjoy a great quality of life amenities that are very near you the design of these villas is spectacular. As you can see, we ran you through this video of some of the means of construction, how things are being constructed here in Capcana, but you get a chance to kind of see a few of the different designs that they're putting together, uh, different looks that they're putting out there for their clients. All of them are very sleek, very modern, and providing anyone living inside these units with an opportunity to live a life that I'm sure they would say they'd love to live, okay? Creating a full gated community, an entire neighborhood is something that will allow you to enjoy an amazing quality of life. If being in North America is something that you are fed up with, then guys, you're able to leave it all behind and come here with your family and enjoy a beautiful start to an amazing life now if this is purely an investment as it is for many people then you are so centrally located on the golf courses that you are going to have a plus renters that are there for the a plus golfing amenities that are right here thanks to our good friend jack nicholas who has helped design some of the best golf courses in the entire Caribbean right here at your doorstep. These villas are going to have private pools, they're going to have a beautiful modern design on the inside, nice high ceilings, you guys kind of get a feel for what to expect here in these images. Guys, when you're getting ready to make a move towards Capcana, you are really making a move for your future because expect enormous appreciation in these lots up and coming in the next couple of years especially as the second Jack Nicholas golf course comes to fruition at the end of next year two years from now that'll be completed and open and that is going to give the entire Cap Cana area specifically these villas since they're located in Las Iguanas okay in that special secure and gated area within Cap Canna, you are really going to see some serious appreciation in these properties. Okay, very large, very nice, and something that you should consider. If you've been thinking about Cap Canna, guys, this is a good opportunity. Please send me a direct WhatsApp and let's talk. We'll get you more information on this. Let's see if this is a good fit for you. If not, we have other opportunities that you may like to explore. If you're able to get yourself into one of these just shy of 700000 with an amazing payment structure set up for you. And you will also be able to get yourself one of these within 360 days, 12 months. All right, guys, if you like this opportunity, please reach out, send me a direct WhatsApp, and let's talk.
Thanks again, again.